So Ocean Reef basically came out with what's called the new NAC system. And the new NAC system actually comes in two different versions. This is the standard version here, and you can also get a foldable version as well. When you actually install this onto the extender frame, you can see just how far out it sticks. So the foldable version actually allows you to fold it in for easier storage as well. But once again, we're talking about how do we install the GSM if you're not using the extender frame. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now in our last video, I showed you how to install and uninstall the extender frame on your Ocean Reef mask. And we talked about the different models that the extender frame would fit. And I actually showed you two different methods of taking it on and off. But one of the questions I got was, how do you install a comm unit without the extender frame? And there's actually several different ways that you can install the GSM comm unit. Unfortunately, however, the GSM Mercury can only be installed using the extender frame. But there's actually several different GSM models out there. This is their plain Jane simple GSM system. This is what I use. They also have a GSM power and a GSM DC unit, which just stands for dual channel. And those three different models can actually be installed on the mask without even using the extender frame and in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that if you have an older style ocean reef mask and you don't have an extender frame installed. So guys like I said there's several different GSM models here this is just their plain Jane GSM system this is what I personally use but they do have the power system the dual channel system and they have the GSM Mercury. Unfortunately the GSM Mercury as I stated earlier will only work with the extender, extender frame However, the standard GSM systems can work without the extender frame. Now, I'm gonna show you how to install this real quick on the extender frame, and then I'm gonna talk about the other methods that you could do as well. Now, with the standard mask without the frame, we have what's called the NAC system. Now, unfortunately, the NAC system was not that good of a system. It was basically a piece of plastic that clipped onto the little uh, plugs here on the side of the clamping band, and then it had this harder style frame plastic that the GSM would slide up on and it had a little o-ring closure. And the downside was the plastic that held it on broke very easily. It was like that really cheap flimsy plastic. So Ocean Reef basically came out with what's called the new NAC system. And the new NAC system actually comes in two different versions. This is the standard version here and you can also get a foldable version as well. When you actually install this onto the extender frame, you can see just how far out it sticks. So the foldable version actually allows you to fold it in for easier storage as well. But once again, we're talking about how do we install the GSM if you're not using the extender frame. And why would you not want to use the extender frame? Well, there's several reasons. Typically when I teach with the Ocean Reef mask, I don't have the extender frame on. I'm just teaching with the mask itself. I do use the extender frame a lot for public safety and salvage work, but I also use the helmet system from Ocean Reef as well. And I can't use the extender frame with it. However, I still need to be able to have my comm unit mounted. So I'm gonna show you today exactly how to do that. Before I get started though, I need to remove this extender frame. And just like we did in the last video, I'm just gonna take my little flathead here. I'm gonna put it up in, I'm gonna twist it till it pops, go up to the next plug, twist it till it pops. I'm gonna do the other side the exact same way. I'm gonna go up in, I'm gonna twist it, you hear it pop, go to the next one, twist it, it's gonna pop off. And then I can very easily remove the extender frame, just like that. Now. Like I said, I can teach with it. I can just put it up against my helmet, whatever I need to do, but I still need my comm unit. If you look at the back of all the GSM systems, minus the Mercury, it's got this little slot here that's kind of cut open. That is actually designed to slide over your middle strap here, and it's a very simple install. All I do is I'm gonna start at the bottom of that middle strap, and I'm just gonna start sliding it down in working my way in there. You can use a little bit of silicone grease here if you want to, but once it pops in, now what that allows me to do is adjust it front to back to fit my ear. It also allows me to adjust it when I'm using the helmet to go over the comm port hole here. And then the last thing I've got to do, of course, is just insert my mic here. Get it screwed on like so. And now 
my GSM comm unit is installed on my Ocean Reef mask without the need of the extender frame, the new NAX or the new NAX foldable system as well. And very easily I can uninstall it just by reversing the procedures, snap my uh, extender frame back on, put my new NAC system, and I can use it regardless. Now, let's say you do want the extender frame, but you don't want to use the new NAC system. It's really not that big a deal. You can do the exact same method. You can simply install the extender frame, and you can still install your GSM unit simply by using the strap system that's on the back. So here you go, guys. If you got an Ocean Reef mask and you have an extender frame, but you're not in the mood to use it, you can pop the extender frame off and the GSM unit will still mount. Now, like I said, this will work with the GSM, the GSM power, and the GSM DC. Unfortunately, it will not work with the GSM Mercury unit. You're still going to have to have the extender frame for the GSM Mercury. And I get asked a lot, Brian, you've updated all your masks. Why have you not updated the, to the GSM Mercury? Well, in short, I like to have one unit that's going to work on every single mask that I use. I have nothing personally against the GSM Mercury. I love the fact that it's got volume control and you can swap channels back and forth. But simply because I do have multiple masks, not just this one. I do use the new Neptune 3 as well. I like to have that one comm unit that I can swap over between multiple masks. And I don't have to worry about having any type of special device to actually connect it. And like I said, with the GSM Mercury, you are going to have to have the extender frame to actually use it. But guys, if you found this video helpful, give me a big thumbs up, definitely share it. If you got any questions on Ocean Reef products, Ocean Reef comm units, drop me a comment down below or a question. I'll try to answer it as quickly as I can, as best as I can as well. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off today. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.